Hello, welcome back. In this video, we will prepare our template for the shopping cart. I will use an icon of shopping cart from the website Icons8. In base.html, I will create a new nav item. I will add a link to shopping cart. And I will use a span for the number of items selected by the user. We'll add an ID card to the span so when the user select or remove an item we will update the number of items selected. We will use local storage to store data in the browser of the user. Local storage didn't have an expiration date. So, I will write a script to clear data after 24 hours. I will create a new variable now to get time when the user visit the application. I will create a new variable step time to check if uh, the user has visited the website in uh, the last 24 hours. If step time equal null, that means there is no step time stored in local storage. This is the first time ever that the user visited our website. We will store the variable now in the browser of the user. Else, if the user has visited the web application before, and if the difference between the last time the visitor has visited the website and the time now is more than 24 hours, we will clear all data stored in the browser of the user. And we will set step time now. I will create a new GS file for orders. In base.html, I will add a link to order.js. In pizza.html, I will add an order list. So, when the user adds an item to the shopping cart, he can see it in the right of his browser. I will change the position of text. I will add a class order and I will use the position relative to move the order list to the bottom. I will add an ID to pizza name so we can get the value of a pizza name with GS. I will reload the page and I will use inspect to check if the IDs are added successfully. We can see that IDs was added successfully. Next step, we will fix the input radio. 
To fix it, we will add a name to input radio. We can see that names are added successfully and now we can select a size. Last thing we have to add values so we can get prices with GS. Values are added successfully. We will use a variable orders to store items selected by the user in an array. We can store only strings in local storage. JSON.parse convert JavaScript object notation to an array. Total is the variable of the bill. If orders didn't exist in local storage, we will save an empty array in the browser of the user. If total didn't exist in local storage, we will save the value zero in the local storage. We will use variable cart for element with id cart. I will use the method inner HTML. To check if I can update the number of items in shopping cart with JavaScript. The number was updated. I will replace 5 by the number of items in the orders array. In burger.html I will do the same modification as pizza.html. I want to move the shopping cart to the right. So I will put the link in a new UL list and I will add bootstrap class margin left auto. I will create a new link for login. I will add an icon of user. I will set the background of icon light. I will add a margin left to the icon of user.
and I will add a margin top to the icon of shopping cart. I will add the class rounded circle to the user icon. Finally, I will use bootstrap classes to make the navbar responsive. This is the end of this video, take care.